Hey everyone, my name is Wally Khan with Nine, and today we'll be talking about installing, removing, and updating executor extensions via the command line. When administering the Nine server, we'll occasionally run into moments where we need to install new extensions, remove old extensions, or update extensions individually. On Windows operating systems, we can do this with the Nine GUI the same way we would in the analytics platform. But on Linux, we'll need to use the command line. Here are the steps for installing or updating a new extension. First, we'll turn off the executor. Next, we'll remove client profiles from the nime.ini or confirm they aren't being used. If we're doing an update, we'll uninstall the existing extension, and we can skip this step for fresh installations. We'll find the ID for the new extension we want to install. Go ahead and install that new extension and then add the client profiles back if we need to and start the executor. You might not be using client profiles or if you're on executor version 4.4.0 or greater, the client profiles might be in the executor service definition and not the nime.ini. It's good to double check if the client profiles are in the nime.ini in either case and comment them out if they do exist. If your client profiles are defined in the executor service, you don't need to remove them. If you forget to remove the client profiles from the .ini file, you'll get an error when running the commands in the next section, and you'll need to go back to remove the client profiles from the .ini or comment them out. Here's the base command to list, install, and remove extensions. We need to run this command from the NIME executors directory, and we'll also need to specify the directory after the dash d argument. To list the extensions or features that are already installed, we'll pass dash lir as the argument, and we'll always have our dash D. To install extensions, we'll pass in a dash R argument and the update sites where we want to install from. We'll also pass in a dash I to indicate we're doing an installation and a comma separated list of the features we want to install. To uninstall extensions, we'll pass a dash U argument as well as a comma separated list of the extensions we want to uninstall. Update sites are websites or zip files that NIME will use to search for the extensions. But how do we know which update sites and extension IDs to pass as arguments to the command? Let's go to the analytics platform to see. The easiest way to find the feature ID is through the analytics platform itself. We'll go to File, Install NIME Extensions, and get a display for the available software dialog. If you already have a particular extension installed, you can click What is Already Installed and find the ID from the ID column. For example, the nine big data connectors have an ID of org.nime.features.bigdata.connectors.featuregroup. I want to install the Earlwood nodes and don't have them installed. On the available software dialog, I'll search for Earlwood by typing it in the filter text bar and find the extensions I want to install. I select both of them and click next to go to the review screen, which will show me the IDs of the extensions. I'll note these IDs for later use, but now let's take a moment to find the appropriate update site to use as well. We can find which update site to use on the NIME hub at hub.nime.com. Search for Earlwood and go to the extensions tab. Here we see both of the extensions we want, Click on Earlwood NIME Open Source Core and scroll to the very bottom of the page and we'll see the update site information and the update site URL to use. Let's do the same for our other extension and we'll see that both of these extensions use the same trusted community update site. Double check that the version of the update site matches your executor version. I'm on executor version 4.4.0, so this is okay. But if I was on any 4.3 executor, I would have to change this URL to match. I'll copy the community contributions URL to use later and go over to our executor's virtual machine to install the extension. The first thing we'll do is turn off the executor with sudo systemctl stop nime-executor.service. Next, we'll switch into the user who owns the executor. In my case, that is nime. So I'll do sudo su-s bin bash nine. Next, I need to navigate to the executor directory. For me, that's an opt nime nime-full underscore 440, and I'll edit that nime.ini to make sure that we don't have any client profiles enabled. If you have these four lines present, 
That means you're using client profiles. You'll need to comment them out and save the file. So profile location, the profile endpoint itself, profile list, and then the profiles themselves. If these lines aren't present, there are no edits you need to make. Let's double check to see if the Earlwood extension is already installed by running the command to list extensions. Remember, dash LIR is the argument to list, and we need to specify the executor's directory with the dash D argument. This will return a list of all the extensions that are installed. So it's pretty big. I can search for it through the response, but this is a little cumbersome, so I can run it again with the grep for Earlwood and see if anything is returned. No results are returned, so we can be confident that the Earlwood nodes aren't installed and we can proceed with their installation. To install the extension, we paste in our base command, adding the dash R argument with our update site in single quotes. We add a dash I argument to perform the install, including our list of features that we copied from the analytics platform separated by commas. We also provide the executor directory as always with the dash D argument. Before we run this, it's important to note that you could use the same command to install several features from many different update sites all at once. You just need to make sure that you list all the features in the dash I argument and all of the update sites you need in the dash R argument. Now let's run our command. We'll see that both requests were satisfied and we can confirm it by listing our extensions while grepping for Earlwood. We get back two results for our features and we're good to go. Now, if we want to update a feature or extension, all we have to do is uninstall the old one and run the installation for the same feature. So let's say a new version of our Earlwood nodes have come out and we want to update them. As before, let's list the existing Earlwood nodes so we can obtain their feature ID. Using these feature IDs, I'll add them to the dash U argument in our base command by copying them in as a comma separated list along with the dash D argument to specify the executor directory as always. Once that is complete, we can run our list command again to see that the extensions have been uninstalled. Finally, we can just run the install command again to get the latest version of the Earlwood nodes and complete the update process. As one last confirmation, we'll run the list command again and we see that the most current extensions have been installed. Now let's turn our server back on. If we previously had to comment out the client profile information in the nine.ini, we can go back to the executor directory and edit the .ini to re-enable the profiles by removing those comment characters. We'll switch back to our sudo user with an exit and run sudo system start 9-executor.service to turn the executor back on. Our new extensions have been installed and our server is ready to go. In this video, we've seen how to install and update our extensions from the command line. To install, we find the necessary information about feature IDs and update sites and run our command using the install option. To update, we just make sure to remove the existing extensions first and install the new one as we normally would. Thanks for watching everyone and be sure to browse the rest of our channel to get more tips and tricks on Nine.